Hi, now in this video of Angular 2, we will discuss about the custom directives. As in the previous implementations, we have seen the usage of ngif and ng4, which were the predefined directives. But here we will see how to create your own custom directive. So basically, let's see what directive is actually all about. Directive is basically something which changes the behavior or appearance of the DOM elements. As in ng4 and ng if you have seen, like it was conditional whether you want to see a particular row or not. Similarly, if you want some iterative rows or some elements, you can go for ng4. Similarly, whichever custom directive we are going to make will do the similar task. And not only the directives, but actually the components which we are creating so far is also a kind of directive itself. As you can see, components are the most common type of directive in Angular. Just the thing is, they have a selector, they have a template which they render during the execution. All right. But still, you can say it, the components are the directives. But apart from components, we do have two more kind of directives that is the structural directive and attribute directive. Structural directive as the name says, it actually modifies the structure of the DOM by adding or removing the DOM elements while the attribute directive is nothing but is set as the attribute of any element. So let's see a practical implementation where we are going to create a very simple directive which will be of type structural and attribute directive. So let's start the practical implementation now. So for creating the directive, here I have taken a new file mycolordirective.ts and which I saved in a separate directory called directives. So what I will do inside, first of all I will include the directive from Angular Core as we used to do for service or for the component and now I will put the directive decorator. Make sure that whenever you are putting a selector for the directive, put that inside the square bracket. And here I have just given my prefix that is my. Alright, you can put anything out there. Now, what I'm doing here, I have created a class as I used to do. Means you can see that way to create the thing is quite similar as of the uh, component because it is again a component, but we will not directly put that. Alright. So, what I have done here is it is the directive and there is a selector and later I have created a class for the same. Now inside the constructor what I am trying to do here is I want to change the font color of any particular component where I will put this directive. So for accessing those features of the component I have put the element ref that is element reference which will give us some of the properties of the HTML elements. So what I have done here in the constructor, I have taken a parameter called ref and right here inside I said ref dot native element dot style dot color. All right. So color will actually change the font color and I wanted to change that to the green. Now, as you are done with the directive creation, what the next thing you will have to do is you will have to register that in the module dot ts if you want to use it throughout the module. So right here you can see I have included my color directive which is right there in the directives directory and I have declared passed that in the declarations as well. So all the registration for this particular directory is done. Now it's time to use that and as I registered that in the module, you can use it in any of the component throughout the module. So what I will do, I will come to my sample component and here in the HTML you can see I have put one heading that is h1 hello. Let me save that and come to browser and here you can see there are two heading. The first one is coming from my app component and the second one is coming from my sample component from right here. And both are by default of blue color because of the external style sheet which I have applied to my index page. Now if I want to change the heading color of this particular text, what I can do is I will do it for my hyphen color. Let me save that and here now you can see it is turned to green color because that is what I told to my directive. 
So similarly, you can put any of the logic as of your choice because obviously as per your requirement only, it will be good to implement this directive. But every time you will do that, it will be doing some changes in the appearance of the DOM or on the behavior. But this is a simple example of creating your very own custom directive in Angular.